Well, welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, it's exciting to have you back again this week. We're seeing tremendous growth in this community as more and more people are getting excited about the strategies, the principles, the activities from our content videos, and certainly from this broadcast of Jim and Java. So we are delighted to have you. If you aren't a subscriber, please consider joining our team of individuals who are growing together, making a difference on the YouTube network. And so we're excited to have you as a part of that. Let's move into our question of the day. Our question of the day is from Don in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Don says, I feel as though I'm getting burned out in my role as a development officer. I can't quit. What should I do? Well, Don, golly, thank you so much for that question. Um, I, I feel you, even though I've been in development for a long time, there's times that I've actually felt uh, burned out and wasn't sure where my next steps were. And I would encourage you, first of all, to seek help and guidance. Seek the advice of professionals, individuals who really are trained experts, but in a lot of ways, their gifting is being a good listener. And I can't tell you how often and how important it is that I have just needed someone to talk with, to explain my feelings, to explain the stressors that are there, and for someone to just listen, not being in a judgmental manner or not being a, in a position that I would feel vulnerable, but j just having a conversation with someone, a trusted advisor, a professional, who you could share your concerns and frustrations with. Secondly, I would really look at the stressors that are impacting you at this time and causing you to be very stressed out. A lot of times, those stressors can be unrealistic expectations. Many development and fundraising professionals, or even people just simply in nonprofits, have been put in a situation where they've had unrealistic expectations placed on them. Their supervisors, board of directors, individuals who are in leadership have put on them expectations that have caused undue stress to them. And I've been there. I've been in that position. It's not a good position. Oftentimes, that's why the life expectancy of, de of a development person is 18 months because there are many unrealistic expectations put on someone involved in development. Lastly, I would consider taking at least an extended break, extended vacation, or possibly even a sabbatical. If you've been involved in nonprofit work for any length of time, a lot of organizations are seeing the value today of offering sabbaticals anywhere from 30 days to 90 days for their staff to wind down, to decompress, to get out of the fray, get off the treadmill, whatever it is, and just return to some normalcy in life. And so I would really look to that. But I understand if you haven't been involved in nonprofit work a long time, at least look at taking a two-week vacation if it's available. So Don, those are the suggestions I would make. Seek professional help. I would look for resetting and restarting the expectations on you and looking for a sabbatical. So Don, I hope that helped. And I hope this episode is important to you and any of your colleagues. Please forward this to colleagues and friends. And also, please subscribe to this channel, submit questions, and we look forward to having you as part of this broadcast in the future. Thanks a lot. If you're looking to raise more money than ever before, watch this video. And as always, it's our goal to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Take care. See you in the next video.